man this is the car i was in just a few minutes ago a beautiful ural <laughs> look at the size of this truck <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. Um, I don't know if it's gonna happen, but uh, Marius has been so nice to me. I I met him for the first time in my life, and uh, you can see this beast. This is the uh, Ural uh, car. That's. Uh, that we could probably drive. <laughs> if we'll have an opportunity, we can start it up and uh, you'll listen to the uh, sound of the engine of this really beast car. This truck is awesome. It comes from military ideas, but Russians used to, uh, used to uh, have them for every tough job let's hope yes them Robert what you should make a change <laughs> All right. Oh, the engine's on. <laughs> a beautiful star there in the middle of the steering wheel. It's not even that noisy. because as you saw it has yellow uh, antique uh, car um, license plates so the only thing that's required is the uh, insurance which this car, this car has but look at that <laughs> That's uh, electricity and in amperes. That's taplivo, meaning uh, fuel. That's vada, and that's uh, <laughs> water temperature. And the masla, meaning probably uh, oil. And of course. It was built in the USSR. Still on the Soviet Union. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you believe that? <laughs> It's a bumpy road, but <laughs> we manage.
could ram them over, but uh, well, we don't want to cause any trouble. You need to be a strong man to uh, handle a car like that and wheel like that. I'm not going on him. Yeah, but it, it has a power assistant uh, steering, so fortunately, <laughs> otherwise it wouldn't be possible. But anyhow, I mean, making this uh, beast run <laughs> is a tough job. <laughs> regular uh, two-lane almost uh, highway so uh, we're gonna make a small <laughs> turbulence in the system okay <laughs> look Three double one. Zygmunt Ziggy, he's gonna tell us something about the engine. Hey <laughs> Zygmunt, what is that for the car? What is that for the Ural V8. Oh, it's a V8. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. We got a true V8 here. A nice uh, air filter and a V8, Russian made. How many cars? Ile, ile 180 brake yeah. horsepower. That's what uh, what's being claimed. But that's. Can I step on this? Uh, really? Can I? Okay. So you can step everywhere you want. On the front fender, why not? So this this beast. That's that's the beast heart. 
Wow. And Ziggy here was the one who uh, worked on the engine. That's why the, uh, the engine works so perfectly. <laughs> I'm going to close it down. Hopefully, I'll be able to. Yep. All right. So now you can see it from this perspective. So how about that? Um, I have to thank uh, Marius and uh, Pavel and Ziggy for this wonderful adventure. Anything is possible. It was uh, an adventure of a lifetime almost. Uh, uh, you saw the truck, the uh, old Russian truck, Soviet truck, uh, Ural 375D. Um, it was produced uh, from uh, early 1960s up to 1982 by Soviets and was the uh, basic uh, truck for the uh, mostly for the army. Um, it was the one that you saw was uh, a, an actual personnel carrier. It carried soldiers uh, deployed, for example, to uh, uh, Afghanistan uh, to war in Afghanistan uh, in 1979. Um, it was the basic truck uh, over there too, but um, it was not only a uh, regular personal carrier, it was also a weapon of mass destruction because uh, um, Soviets used to put a uh, Katyusha, like a uh, uh, rocket launcher, and it was called um, Grad uh, 21 and uh, it deployed a lot of rockets uh, towards the enemy so uh, probably the Taliban know the uh, the power of this uh, uh, Ural uh, as well. The uh, truck itself uh, was a great thing for the uh, for the outdoors and uh, some collectors are still using it uh, to have fun you know it can go anywhere you want but uh, you have to have a uh, very thick uh, wallet because uh, uh, 100 kilometers uh, driven uh, off-road uh, in this uh, truck would cost you um, the equivalent for uh, 100 uh, liters of uh, fuel. It's a V8, it produces only 175 uh, horsepower, so it may not be um, much, but the car is very uh, durable and it's a 6x6 uh, all the time. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to collect things like that, uh, but uh, I take you today to, uh, to the Russian cemetery uh, in Warsaw uh, with this uh, little reflection on, uh, on the military vehicles, you know. Um, these can be, you know, used for uh, peaceful means as well, but uh, they can also, uh, you know, be the uh, uh, sowers of death, so to speak. So um, it's, it's probably better to uh, make love than uh, war. So uh, with this uh, in your mind, stay tuned and uh, see you in the next episode.